Okay, so we've got a 2017 Hyundai Elantra. It's due for an oil change. If you're using synthetic blend oil, it's recommended to do it every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. And this one's right at 5,000 miles since the last oil change, so let's get at it. Oil is warmed up, but not hot. And it's been allowed to drain into the drain pan. First, we're gonna remove our cap you can use full synthetic SAE 5W20. Now we got the cap off, we're gonna go underneath. Okay, so the car's up on jack stands. What we're gonna need is a ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket. The drain plug is up inside this little opening right here. Crack it loose and start unthreading it by hand. Keep a little pressure so the oil don't run all over your arm. Not a bad idea to put a drop cloth underneath your drain pan. Let that oil come out. So while that's draining, we're going to prepare this drain plug with a new washer. You want to change that washer every time you change your oil. Unless the drain plug has one of those built-in rubber wa washers. Then you're just going to want to make sure it doesn't have any cracks. Now as far as those washers are concerned, you can get them at the dealership and they're going to be metal. Or you can get these assorted style at AutoZone or someplace like that. This one's plastic. It'll work. You start putting that drain plug back in there. Start it by hand. Don't ever force any bolt threads or nuts into position because you can cross thread them and strip them out. If you feel resistance, back out, start over. That one's in there. The ratchet back on there. Get it nice and snug. Feels real nice and snug now. Now we're gonna slide the oil pan over here. Inside this hole is where the oil filter is. Now you can buy those cup filter wrenches that only fit your filter, or you can get one of these universal ones. These work real well because the teeth close down as you're drawing the ratchet. Get that up on there. Get the teeth to grab. Break it loose. You don't want to open it up just a little bit. Let that oil start trickling down so you don't have a big mess when you remove it. Once that stops, just unthread the filter the rest of the way. And take it off there. Flip it upside down to your drain pan. You're going to leave that drain pan down there. We're going to get the new filter ready. All right, so here's our new filter. Since this one threads in like this, it's okay to prime this with a little oil. Let's 
40 there. You want to make sure you put fresh oil and spread it around that rubber o-ring. The threads will be up. Reach in that hole. Before you put this on, you want to check up inside there and make sure there's no other o-ring still stuck on there. But we're clean, so we're going to go. Again, thread by hand as far as you can. If you meet any resistance, back off and start over. Alright, that's on there. But it's not tight. Let's wipe this dry. These nitro gloves give you a nice grip. We'll get up on there. Get it hand tight. You're not going to use a filter wrench or anything like that to tighten it down. Just get it hand tight. All right, so we got our oil drained, got our plug back in, got a new filter on there. Let's go back up top. Okay, so we're back up top and we're ready to fill the oil. Get yourself a good funnel that fits down in that filler hole. We're gonna be using 520 Castrol GTX high mileage, which is a synthetic blend. You can use a full synthetic, you can use Valvoline. And some people like to use a 530 in hotter climates. Check the mark where your oil is at. This car calls for 4.2 quarts. But keep in mind, we also primed the filter a little bit. So I think we're gonna add four quarts. I didn't let it run for a minute. I didn't check the level. Another thing to keep in mind, these bottles tend to pour a little better if you pour them sideways instead of straight on. You're going to want to go slow so you don't overfill that funnel and have a big mess. Check the mark every so often. Still got a ways to go. You just don't want to ever overfill in the first shot because then you're going to have to drain it again. Let's add a little bit more. Let's stop right there. Put the cap back on the bottle. Pull that funnel out. Put the filler cap back on. going to click. Now we're going to start it up. Let it run for a few minutes and we'll check the dipstick, see where we're at. You know, while we've got that running, it's a good idea to look underneath, check for any drips. If there's any drips, odds are the filter isn't on tight or the drain plug. Everything looks good. Go back up top. All right, so we're back up top. We'll let it run for a few minutes. Let the oil cycle around. Now it's cool off, the oil drained back into the pan. Let's check our level. You don't want to get a rag? Here's your dipstick. Pull that dipstick out. Wipe it clean. Now insert it all the way again. Pull it back out. There's your low, there's your full. You want to be somewhere in those hash marks in between. In this case, we're good. If you're still low, add a little bit more. 
If you're too high, well, you're just gonna have to drain it and start over. But now we know we're good, it's time to clean up a little bit. Okay, so once you know your oil level's good, do a little clean up. You can put this old filter back in the box if you want to. That's gonna end up in the trash anyway. Now what to do with this oil? Take that same funnel, you can put it in the bottle. Again, pour slowly. That's why we have the drop cloth. Make a little bit of mess here. Once that's back in the bottle, just put the cap back on, and you can take this back to AutoZone or wherever you got the oil from, and they'll recycle the used motor oil. Now we just gotta clean up our drop cloth and our tools. Now you know how easy it is, you can do it yourself. Don't ever trust your car to a place like Jiffy Lube because they'll use low quality oil and it might strip out your drain plug. And the dealership's gonna cost you a little bit more, a lot more if you're using full synthetic. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more DIY videos like this.